Hello, this is Peter Jervis and Andy Meyer, senior consultants at Red Hat. We are going to discuss using Red Hat Satellite with Red Hat Insights. Red Hat Satellite is used to patch systems, provision them, and provide errata management. Insights is used to provide analysis of a customer's Red Hat infrastructure. Andy, what problem is Insights solving? Well, Peter, over the years, Red Hat has collected an astronomical amount of information regarding vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and other production outage-causing problems. Um, our customers, however, keep opening tickets with the same problems over and over again. What Insights allows us to do is to analyze our customer systems and use machine learning to compare those results against our database and provide proactive solutions to our customers. My customers' clients' environments are constantly changing. How does Insights help there? Insights runs on, as a client on your system and updates one or two times a day, which is configurable. Um, our databases are constantly changing. This allows us to keep you informed if we find new problems. When an issue or a potential issue is detected, what does Insights report? Insights provides a detailed report on the issue that is found, uh, the potential problems it could cause, your level of risk if you leave it unmitigated. What are the options for remediating those reported issues? Insights will almost always give you a detailed list of manual steps that you can take to remediate these problems. And oftentimes will give you an Ansible playbook, which you can run on the Ansible command line or through Ansible Tower. That covers us for the known issues, but what about the overall health of the systems? Ansible provides an executive dashboard to give you an overall view of your environment, then which percentage of your systems have known issues and what your risk level is with those issues. How do customers access those results? Well, if your customer's client systems are already registering directly to Red Hat, we have an Insights portal right there next to our customer portal. However, a lot of our customers like to use satellite systems as a focal point for their client registration, and we provide an Insights, client, uh, an insights portal right there in the web UI. Satellite is able to support clients provisioned a number of ways. Will those systems be supported in Insights? The Insights client runs on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.4 and above and 7. It will also run on physical systems, on virtual systems, and on containers. Insights can run on your on-premise systems or in the cloud. What is the process for sending Insights data to Red Hat for clients that are registered through a capsule to a satellite? Well, the Insights agent collects the data on your clients and sends that to their registered capsule. The registered capsule then forwards that onto your satellite server, which will then push it through whatever firewalls or proxies you already have configured to Red Hat where the analysis is done, and then the results are returned back to your satellite server. My customer has some clients which are disconnected, and others get their content from a satellite that gets its content from a master satellite using inter-satellite sync. Can those systems use Insights? Unfortunately, as of 2018, disconnected, air-gapped, and other complex satellite setups are not supported by Insights. However, we're constantly evolving the product, so work with your Red Hat team to see what's, what's changed. A lot of my systems have confidential data on them. What data is collected for Insights? The data collected by Insights really resembles an SOS report in many ways. Uh, however, some of that data, such as MAC addresses and IPs and host names, are considered confidential by some of our customers. Uh, Insights provides a configuration mechanism to censure that data before sending the rest of the report back to Red Hat. Thanks. To get started, please go to redhat.com services or reach out to your account executive. Thank you.